right, hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Um, this is hopefully to help a few people. The Debian testing version that I built has been getting a lot of downloads and I was asked to make a 32-bit version. And if you read the readme file on SourceForge about it, it said all of the ISOs that are in that others folder haven't been extensively tested. And it just so happened while building the 32-bit version, I discovered an issue with, well, it carries over to the 64-bit version that I've already released. And that situation is when you log out and log back in, you're greeted with a nice big fat <laughs> D-bus <laughs> error. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sick again. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild that 64-bit ISO also. It, it won't take long because everything's basically already set up. I just need to fix that D-bus error. And if, if you want, if you're having that situation and you want to get that stopped, all you need to do is apt get install dbus dash x11. After you install it, uh, you'll need to reboot. And when you hit reboot from the logout menu, it's probably going to ask for your password. Just enter your password and go ahead and let it reboot. And after that, it won't do it. It won't ask for the password anymore. So that's all you need to do if if you're using that Debian testing version, and you've discovered that. As I said, I didn't I didn't test it extensively, and that's something I just discovered while building the 32-bit version. So app get install dbus x11 ought to fix your problem. And the only other change that I'm going to make, I am going to go ahead and include the Mio Linux exit uh, logout menu instead of using the OB session menu. All right, so that's that. I'm going to remove that. Uh, well, no, I don't think I will remove it. I'll just leave a note that that needs that package needs to be installed. And then when I upload the new versions, I'll fix that note on SourceForge. Okay? So there you go. You guys have a great day. Hope you have a great week. And take care. Thanks.